This is a special report from About Space Today. From Florida's Kennedy Space Center is Don Meyer. NASA and SpaceX are counting down to the launch of the first operational flight of the SpaceX Crew-1 spacecraft bound for the International Space Station. Astronauts Mike Hopkins, Victor Glover, Shannon Walker, and Suichi Noguchi are to be the first multinational crew and the first full crew complement for the Crew Dragon vehicle. Together they will celebrate the 20th anniversary of continuous human efforts aboard the International Space Station, and they will expand the station's long-duration crew to seven people for the first time. The Crew Dragon spacecraft, named Resilience, will lift off from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida for a six-month stay aboard the orbiting laboratory, returning in the spring of 2021. Megan Sumner of NASA Communications detailed the qualifications of each member of the Crew-1 mission during a recent press briefing. Shannon Walker is the mission specialist for Crew-1. Shannon was selected as an astronaut in 2004. She launched to the International Space Station aboard a Russian Soyuz spacecraft and spent 161 days in space in 2010. Shannon is a Houston native and has a Ph.D. in space physics. Next, we have Victor Glover. Victor is the pilot of the Crew Dragon spacecraft and second in command for the mission. He was selected as an astronaut in 2013, and this will be his first space flight. He's a California native and holds degrees in flight test engineering, systems engineering, and military operational art and science. He is a naval aviator, a commander in the U.S. Navy, and was a test pilot in the U.S. Navy. Next, Mike Hopkins is the commander of the Crew Dragon spacecraft and Crew-1 mission. He was selected as, as an astronaut in 2009 and spent 166 days aboard the space station during expeditions 37 and 38. Mike grew up on a farm outside Richland, Missouri, has degrees in aerospace engineering, and is a colonel in the U.S. Air Force. Finally, Soichi Noguchi will also be a mis- mission specialist for Crew-1. He was selected as an astronaut candidate in 1996 and is a veteran of two space flights. He launched on the Space Shuttle Discovery for STS-114 return to flight in 2005 and aboard a Soyuz spacecraft in 2009. The Crew Dragon will be the third spacecraft that Suichi has flown to the space station on. The crew members were asked about their personal goals for the mission. Here is Mike Hopkins. So, you know, as a personal goal, I think... um, this one is is probably fairly obvious, but for all of us, it's to land safely and return to our families, um, and and that's kind of first first and foremost. Uh, I, I think one of my other goals is um, I'm very excited to uh, fly with with Victor on his on his first flight, and um, you know part of that goal then is is uh, looking forward to uh, seeing what he does uh, on his next flight. Now Victor Glover with his goals. You know, I've listened to the advice of, of my colleagues and, and good friends, and, and I'm going to make a point to try and, and capture the moments, take a lot of pictures of the things that we do inside, not just our beautiful planet, but, but also of my crewmates as well, to try and really capture that experience, but also just to experience it itself. Shannon Walker discusses her goals. Uh, Victor's goal is very similar to my goal. Um, you know, we've we've worked very hard to get to this position. We know we've got a lot of hard work ahead of us on the space station, so we want to accomplish our work, but still have a lot of fun doing it. So if we can come back as a happy crew, like uh, we're going into space as, that's going to be a a good good thing. (laughs) And now Suichi Noguchi with his personal goals for the mission. I would say, I would say every day is a new day in space. Enjoy every moment. Return home with smile. We continue counting down the days until the Crew-1 launches. From the Kennedy Space Center on Florida's Space Coast, this is Dawn Meyer for About Space Today. This has been a special report from About Space Today.